try it. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing. All right, let's get started. All right, we're doing the Ark Conquest today. Woo, boggies, woo. <laughs> ah, traveler, right on cue. <laughs> What have you done? Uh-oh. <laughs> I went to the shrine to draw a fortune slip earlier. The shrine maiden told me that it is the season for an unexpected reunion. Huh? How come I never gotten that one? What the fuck? How come I've never gotten that shit, man? What the yes, hell? Man. Drawing fortune slips at the shrine? Uh, is it just Paimon or is that the most unusual thing ever? Wait, that also means that Catherine went out of her booth. Does she- wait, does she actually go out of her booth? From time to time? Does Catherine ever get breaks? Wait, no, that's not the unusual part! We're in Lila! You went to Inazuma and back in a single day? <laughs> Even I have a private life, you know. Uh. Okay, so when you say- She goes outside? Reunion, hmm. You mean running into us, right? Who can say? But the anticipation of knowing that an unexpected reunion is due is making me happy to see everyone I cross paths with today. Fair enough. Even though we see each other pretty much every day, whatever makes you happy. An unexpected reunion, perhaps. He's thinking. Ether's thinking. Ether is just like, hmm, hmm, -ga. Are you safe? Oh, Paimon gets it. Well, let's just hope the shrine maiden was right. Fingers crossed we find her. I'm sorry. Did I say something I shouldn't have? Aww. You both seem a little down. It's okay, Catherine. Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> anyway, back to business. Do you have a new commission you want to give to us? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. This one is from a miner. It seems to be related to investigating the chasm. Really? Does this mean the chasm's not sealed off anymore? <laughs> it's time for chat to touch grass too. Yeah, everybody go touch grass with Catherine. Go touch grass with Catherine, please. I will leave the requester to fill you in on all the relevant details. His name is Yue Hui, and he should be at the chasm right now. All right then. Thanks, Catherine. We'll head there right away. Very well. Ad Astra, Abyssosk. Hmm. This time you are truly bound for the abyss. Good luck to you both. She seems worried. Minor? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Were we supposed to do this before going to the chasm? Were we supposed to do this before going to the chasm? I don't remember, because I did the entirety of the chasm before this quest. Let's, uh, let, let, let's just see. Hi there! You must be Yuehoi, right? We've been sent by the Adventurers Guild. Ah, great. Good to meet you. Yes, I was the one who posted that commission. Wait a second. You look kind of familiar. Are you a famous adventurer or something? It's, it's, con let's focus on the task at hand. He's like, no, oh, uh, no need right, for recognizations. I'm Yuehue, a miner, and I received a mining permit for the chasm just recently. I have a handful of other guys in my crew. Seriously? They actually give permits out for the chasm? Yes, the folks over at Yujing Terrace finally came to their senses and are now allowing a limited amount of ore mining near the surface. We were among the first to gain approval. <laughs> Sign this, Poggies. Sign this and you can go into a mining shaft. Anything? His voice actor sounds familiar. I it sounds familiar to me, but I didn't want to say anything. I don't know. I don't know who it is though. So it's hard to say exactly how big of an issue it is. It could be something. Could be nothing. The main thing is that it's just very strange. While one of the miners was on a break, he suddenly noticed a few hilly trolls walking his way. They seemed like they were in a daze or something. 
They walked right by him without giving him a single glance. They just made a beeline for the depths of the chasm. Is it pro ZD? It kind of sounds like a voice pro ZD would make, yeah. After that, the miner started observing his surroundings more closely and noticed the same thing happening time and time again. Hmm. Are the hilly trails just curious? Maybe they just want to take a peek inside. <sighs> Not likely. The strange part is that in all the time this miner has been watching the hilly trails, he's never seen any of them come back out. Monka W. Jesus Christ, that's like a fucking ghost story. <laughs> it seems to be a one-way trip. Once the heli drills go in, they never emerge again. <laughs> He's telling ghost stories. It seems to be happening more and more frequently as of late. What are these heli trolls up to? What happens to them after they go inside? Is there a disaster brewing? These are the kinds of thoughts going through the guys' heads now. Everyone's driving themselves crazy worrying about it. Uh, not surprised. <laughs> I don't feel spooked. Strange is the right word, for sure. Exactly. The deepest fear is the fear of the unknown, you know? So we have to get to the bottom of it before everyone can put their minds at rest. Uh, Dumbledore, if you smoke do grass? We, <laughs> do we really want to take this commission? Um, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Miner, sir. Uh, we need to consider it first. We'll take it. Of course, Ether takes it. Just say just say there's money involved, and Pymo will be like, okay, never mind, we're good. Uh, when strange things like this happen, I'm inclined to think the Abyss Order is involved. Oh, so that's where you're coming from. Hmm. Well, okay then. Maybe we will find some clues about your twin. You'll really regret it if you don't go, huh? Yes. So, what's your verdict? Will you take the commission? No pressure, but I gotta say, I'm not loving the prospect of my mining permit going to waste. Troy Lizzy gifted a tier one sub to Itos Melkdio. They have given nine gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Troy Lizzy, for the gifted sub. Thank you. Paimon, you don't do shit? Yeah. Paimon, I don't know why Paimon ever gets scared when she could literally just disappear into thin air. I've said this before, but she really doesn't have to be scared of anything if she can literally just disappear into thin air and never be touched. <laughs> yep, we'll take it. We're kind of curious ourselves now, too. Ah, oh, great. You're doing me an enormous service here. Now, let me give you the rough location that the hilly trolls keep heading to. Let's see... Uh, so we just gotta go down to the chasm. Seven star seal sundering. I've already completed all that, haven't I? Pretty sure I've already completed l practically everything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need to do all of that. Um, is this where that minor guy wanted us to investigate? Just look at this place. Doesn't it remind you of something? Wait, what was it again? The defiled statue? You mean the statue that we left? <laughs> that we just coincidentally forgot to destroy? Hmm? Is that the one they're talking about? Sure. <laughs> Surely. Yes, that's it! It's just like that. Just as strange, just as upside down, and just as spooky. In which case, maybe whatever is going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Oh, oh. oh. okay, an Abyss Herald's here. Oh, it's Dane's sleeve. What the fuck? Already? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> how is he back already? <laughs> okay, first of all, where have you been? The feeling is mutual. I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here either. Where have you been? <laughs> Long time no see, Dane. Wait, but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm? The chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? Interesting. 
This is one place where I have never set foot before. I have a lot of questions for you, my man. Like... I understand how you must feel. Last time we met suddenly and parted hastily. <laughs> Danes leave people sit. <laughs> so am I. Uh... Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. Okay, yeah. First, tell me what's go what you're doing. Actually, no. What was with that portal? Because that portal was the exact same portal that Abyss Heralds use to teleport in and out of everywhere. So how the hell is how the hell was he able to use that? That much should be self-explanatory. I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. Unfortunately. I got as far as cornering him before he resorted to the same trick that they all do. Disappearing? I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. So, so the portals can bring... So you can go through the... Abyss Heralds can juke you out by, by going, making you go through the wrong portal to the wrong place. So that means when he followed when he followed Lumin, that means he didn't get he didn't get into the same place as Lumin, right? Hmm. Well, at least at least he did. At, at least that's fine. That's a that's a good explanation for me. Uh, so you didn't actually catch up with my sister. Correct. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B, but gateways to an entire network. Mm. Where they emerge on the other side is their choice. It can be anywhere within the network. Mm -hmm. Sounds kind of similar to how teleport waypoints work. So it's, so it's a good thing we didn't go through the portal because then we'd be lost forever. We'd be fucking lost. In short, though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone, back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, about that. Whatever happened to the Eye of the First Field Tiller? Oh yeah, where did that go? Please tell me you have it still. It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. Okay. Okay, surely it's in a safe place. Surely. Surely he put it in a safe place that nobody can ever find it. <laughs> uh, why don't you tell me who you really are? Who is the Twilight Sword? Mmm, that is true. We did, he, we did leave. We did completely leave off on her basically just spilling the beans about Danesleaf last time. Mmm. Who is the Twilight Sword? Huh. So that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria, but now it is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. Twilight Sword was my title as captain of the Royal Guards when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. I... Mm, yeah, I guess. Okay, fine. He's so emo? <laughs> Cuss. Okay. Uh... Okay, yeah, it's just... Okay, fine, you don't have to tell us if you don't want to, but... Sounds like uh, your sister was right. So, what was the, what was the history? What, what's the T? Spell it, please. We were travel partners. Okay, we assume that. We've already guessed that long beforehand. We both partook in a painful journey of searching for our fate. But regrettably, we did not make it to the journey's end together. The journey's end. Before you continue questioning me, I ought to warn you. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. Mm -hmm. You mean the Abyss Order is plotting something here? Actually, Paimon and the Traveler suspected that too. I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <gasps> Don't say that! Paimon <laughs> Okay. I'll trust you for now. 
Okay, so the Traveler still doesn't trust Dane Sleeve. Hmm. The Traveler is getting distrust for Dane Sleeve. Did, did the Traveler ever actually trust Dane Sleeve? I don't remember if, if he did or not, but... <laughs> A wise choice. Hmm. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that rocky wall. Let's take a look. Okay, so basically how so basically he didn't get to see our sister again. He just got lost for like a a, a long time. And then he made his way back from by going through another Abyss Herald portal. So that's funny, we were trying to- we were trying to, like, be suspicious on this dude. Man, I wanted it to be a little more exciting than that and have- and have him be, like, sus as hell. Give him a really suspicious explanation for him coming back all of a sudden, but they wrapped that up really nicely. Man, okay, fine. You won this, Mohoyo. Guy's been locked since patch 1.4. <laughs> Requester? In fact, hold on. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. I had a commission. We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole load of hilly churls have been gathering here, and the Requester wants to know why. And now it looks like we finally found our first clue. Do you want the answer? Yes. Yes, yeah, huh? I do. You mean, you know something about this? As it happens, I do. Mmm, does this have to do with the Upside Down City? It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. What makes this place so strange is that the environment here weakens the effect of the curse. Okay. Curse? Oh, Paima remembers. Last time you guys were saying that Conria's people were cursed to immortality or something. Mm -hmm. For centuries, I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid upon me. But here, I suddenly feel a small amount of relief from this suffering. Oh, sad g oh. <laughs> Immortality is a curse. He no. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of depressing, but... And right here, right now. That's depressing. I can feel my body sending a strong message to me. It is telling me, stay. Mm. So, this place weakens the curse? That's pretty incredible. Mm. But how? That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. The Hilichuros that come here are also Indeed. from... Do you know why Hilichuros wear masks? I think so. Hmm. It's to hide their appearance. Lest they catch sight of their reflection in a body of water. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. So the Hilichuros are from Conria. I thought we theorized this before, correct? We all had this theory before. That the Hilichuros did come from Conria. Shit. So it was right. Hmm. Damn. So we've been killing Conria- We've been killing Conria citizens this whole time. That's not a good look. Uh, that is not a good look. <laughs> Farming Conria citizens. Woo! We're, we've been committing genocide. Woo! -hoo! Jesus Christ. The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted with it. And yet, it does not truly mean that they will never die. So, you mean... There's a way to undo it? <sighs> no. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded until they are virtually non-existent. Even if death is not the form that this erosion takes. 
so they'll literally just fade they'll just slowly fade away fade and crumble away until like they're not physically there or they're just hmm when the hillichurls realize that the end is nigh for them it seems their instinct is to seek out a calm and dark corner of the world Aww. in which to finally say goodbye to the centuries of suffering they have endured. And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their curse would surely be their first choice. Mm. Wow. That's so... Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. Uh, what is it? We're under attack. Okay, so... It better not be okay. Good, it's not Hillichurls. I was about to say. Imagine if they made if they made us fight a bunch of Hillichurls right after that scene. No one escapes my sight. Okay, so basically the theories the theories about about uh, Hillichurls being Conry citizens were true. And everyone from Conry. Has basically cursed to be immortal. Everyone from Conria is cursed to be immortal and they will never technically die, but they will still erode away until they're practically non existent. If they're immortal, how do we kill them? We don't. That's probably why they keep respawning. That could be a good explanation as to why respawning exists. <laughs> what were those? And why did they attack us all of a sudden? Black Serpent Knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. How about Kaya? Then that means Kaya is... Yeah, if Kaya is from Kanria, then that means he is immortal. But... Hmm. But does he feel the same way as Dane Sleep does? Does he feel... If he if you brought Kaya to the chasm, would he feel the same way? Hmm. I don't know, though. Uh, I don't, we don't know. Hmm. We'll have to, we'll have to talk about Kaya later. Good. So, they used to be your troops? Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them, and they fight with none of the honor they once had. Because they've become pawns of the Abyss now? Let's continue on. Oh. Wait! Dane! Uh, uh. Hmm. Seems we missed one. Dot dot dot. Say something, Wait, bro. Stand down. There's something different about this one. His voice line indicate his opinion? Mm-hmm. It's disappeared. What the heck? What was going on with that one? Was it trying to say something? Mm, he's a descendant, so I don't think he's immortal. That's what I'm thinking. He's probably not exactly immortal, which is why he doesn't feel this. He probably wouldn't have the same feeling about Conrad as Dainsliff and about immortality and stuff like that. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know exactly for sure, though. How is this possible? How could he have retained self-awareness for 500 years without it? But more importantly, why did he seem so familiar? Maybe he recognized you. That would be a miraculous outcome indeed for a cataclysm that brought total doom and destruction. Hmm. Or perhaps it was just a coincidence. We should press onward to the city. Hmm. Kyra wrote a poem to Venti that said that said we will win the fight. Yeah, that's true. Me Mahoya means I love you. In the language of the Hillichurls. He was supposed to spy on Tevat? Yeah. I'm having, I'm having, like, guesses about what's gonna happen in this quest. Because, okay, from what Dane, Sle Dane Sleep said before, 
something in his body is telling him to stay. So there's gonna come a choice where he's gonna have to choose whether to stay or to go. Will he fight what his bot will he fight what his body wants or will he choose to die here? I don't know though. That's yeah. that's what I'm guessing though. Hmm. Looks like there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here, right? Traveler, looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode. Puzzle time. Uh, puzzle time. Ding dong. Ding dong. Ding dong. Don't waste your time. Huh? What? No puzzle time? Oh. Oh, never mind. He's 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 too good. Huh? He, he's powerful. Never mind. Conria's technology. Abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. They're just cheap tricks to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? Hmm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. So, was it built by the Abyss Order or Conria? I'm asking Conria first. Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. The Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Conria? Whoa. Pyron can't even imagine back that far. I mean, yeah, the buildings did exist before Conria because of... Encon we know that because of Enconomia. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Conria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. Hmm. Paimon can't count higher than 500? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she definitely could. Because then she wouldn't be able to count higher than 500 Mora. Is this where they're based? Or wait, are they guarding something here? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. Fight. What if I just use Kaya this entire quest? Actually, should I do a more realistic version and use Aether the whole quest? I wonder. I wonder how that would be. It would probably be awful if we had to face a boss, though. If we had to face a boss, that would be fucking awful. Use Dull Blade? Okay, that would make it even worse. Lore accurate? Should go for lore accuracy. You should be able to climb up, right? Let's go let's try using lore accuracy. There's still a long road ahead. Why not? Let's try it. Use Dane Sleeve? It's Ah yes. Let me just uh let me just go into the files and uh, unlock Dane Sleeve real quick. No way. Hold on, I think they- They're hiding the hella trolls. Ah, they're coming! Quick, get them! They're hiding the hella trolls. Quick! So they're trying to protect the- I'm guessing they're trying to protect the hella trolls while they just sit there and die. Aww. Because... Because these are knights from Conria, and then the Hilotros are from Conria. Looking for a place to die. 
So they're just trying to protect the Hilotros while they just slowly fade away. Should we really be killing these guys then? Should we be killing them? I don't want to kill them anymore. Can I just not? <laughs> Can I not? Man. They're kind of hot though, excuse me? Okay, let's not die. I want to at least make sure that everything's quit out though. Attacking out of self-defense? Maybe, but we just killed their friends downstairs, so I don't know. They're just hiding the Hillichos that are just chilling. Oh, I hope this this is about to be really sad, isn't it? This is about to be really sad. Huh? What's this? So, the Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. Hilly churls. As I said, for these hilly churls, the end is nigh. Yeah, they're dying, basically. They have grown old and Aww. fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. And yet the curse continues to corrode them. But why would the Black Serpent Knights want to stay here and guard them? Oh, there's more of them. Uh, let's avoid fighting them, honestly. It's him! The guy that came out of nowhere and disappeared again! And now they're retreating! Did he just order them to do that? Yes, Paimon. Yes. Half Dan? Half Dan? So that's this knight's oh, name. Oh. What? You recognize him? Could it be? It's as I suspect. Then this is a truly tragic state of affairs. Dane? You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the Hilly Churls, don't you? It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. Mm -hmm. The one who ordered them to retreat just now. I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man. An elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. Aww. So, he's from 500 years ago, too? To this day, I still remember the final orders I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria, before I made haste back to the palace. Uh, oh, shit. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs, because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. Damn. Against the might of the gods. The only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. Ah, uh, that's gotta be harsh. That's gotta fucking, that's gotta suck. He basically sent them to their deaths. Hmm. These black serpent knights have lost their intellect, but perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly, I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Mm, they're telling the Hillichos to escape? <gasps> ah! 
so every single thing we've been every single hella troll we've killed down here oh that feels bad every single every single royal guard we've killed down here and every single hella troll we've killed down here is oh oh that feels awful Damn, that feels awful. Shit. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. <laughs> Blind people happy I have committed mass murder. I have committed mass murder of innocent Conria civilians. Oh no. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Oh, that's a that feels bad. Oh. So we really been killing. Ugh, that feels so fucking awful. So what do we do now whenever we come- whenever we encounter a Hillitrol? <laughs> do they expect- do they expect us to not farm Hillitrols anymore? What do we do? So what do we do? Why did they get- why did they make some of these characters require Hillitrol max? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just close your eyes. Close your eyes, turn the sound off. It'll be over soon. Oh, uh, putting them out of their misery is the best way to put it. I mean, they can't, but still, they can't exactly die. That's the thing. Even if we do kill them, it's not exactly killing them. Oh, hello? Hello? The fuck was that? I can't touch it. I can't, I can't touch it. Why am I being debated? I press this? Oh wait, where is this seal at? I'll keep this close. All I did was open this. My rock. Terra smash. Oh, there we go. Now I can do it. All right. Oh, there's a thing down there. <clears throat> hey, why so quiet? Why so quiet, I'm just huh? thinking, nothing more. If you're trying to console me, I can assure you there is no need. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> They said, I have no need for your words, Paimon. Sub only? Oh boy. <laughs> By the way, chat, if you don't know, I don't I'm not asking for help. And I'm not reading chat either, just so I just so I can just figure it out by myself. I don't need your fucking help. Just just relax. I can figure it out. All these hilly trolls want is to quietly fade away in peace. Paimon hopes they can get their final wish. So they just shrivel up and die here. That's cr 
and it's it's not even like they fade away completely like they're still technically there it's just that they're they're in like some sort of they're in like like a very like a limbo of death and still being there like that's just fucking awful. Like, I feel really bad now. What kind of- Who put this fucking curse onto them? Who gave them this curse? That's ass. Hey, look! There's no door sealing this room off. Looks like we can finally head to the room in the center. Come on, let's go! Celestia? We're gonna need a couple words with Celestia. We need a couple couple words with Celestia real quick. Uh, I want to talk to these other shows though. Thank you, Round Queen, for the Prime. I appreciate it. Welcome. Paimon's never seen such well-behaved hilly chairs before. Paimon wonders if it has anything to do with being an old soul. Hey man, the the uh, the hilly chairs from A M X. From LMX Quest is, uh, they're pretty well behaved. Hmm. Paimon, they're dying. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. People are only well behaved when they're dead. Ooh, wait, that's pretty. Even the water pool is upside mm. down. Oh, wow. This is a pretty amazing place. Dang, do you have any idea at all how it works? The pool must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. I don't like... The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. I don't like the way he's talking right now. Cleansing? So that means the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? No. That would be impossible. How are you so sure? I've tried I have it. lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely? Mm. Consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Mm. So he has to live with this curse forever. I mean, I'm sure after 500 years, he's come to accept this curse a part of his body. And he can just, he's probably accepted that he has to live with it. I'm sure 500 years of living with this is something that he's come to accept. But I wonder if there ever will come a time where he just tries to consider it like, you know, Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to, you know, just shrivel up and die. <laughs> Thank you, Okitaicho, for the five gifted. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's a lot of gifted. Thank you very much, Okitaicho. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse. But one can't even imagine. In any case... I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Hmm. So, what 
What's that contraption there? It looks kind of out of place. Drink water. This is water, it just has energy powder in it. No, it's not piss. Thank you, Light Rays, for the Prime. Thank you so much. Uh, it's an Abyssal device. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Okay. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. Wait, is this an arena? I'm on a freight. So, all the doors are open now? Oh, hi. It's an arena, isn't it? Half Dan. Do you have something to say to me? No. <laughs> no, walks away. <laughs> Giga Chad. <laughs> he ran off, but he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? Uh, yeah. This could be. This could be a useful lead. True. So, uh, we going then? <laughs> never let your enemy know your next move. <laughs> you can never let him know your next move. <laughs> He went all the way down here. Huh. Gotta be unpredictable. Looks like Half Dan disappeared at the far end of this path. Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. Who chose Half Dan's name to be Half Dan? I don't know. Some people get some people choose interesting names like like Dick Johnson. There are more signs of hillitural activity here. It's from North Mytholo Norse mythology. Mm -hmm. Terra smash. Yeah. I gotta fight a Geo slime with uh with the Geo element. Why did I say that name specifically? Because that's that's what came up to my mind first. Could have chosen the name like Ben Dover. <laughs> Mike Hawk. It's a humble hilly churl camp. Oh, these hilly churls look like they're in pretty bad shape too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Damn. Is this what Hafton wanted to show us? Whether it is or not. Everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Celeste people arrived when I said that. It's okay. <laughs> we gotta investigate Hillichiro dead bodies. Alright then, man. Alright, you know what? Totally not traumatizing. we meet in the wild are always so rowdy. Paimon never would have imagined that this is how they spend their final days. We may not have a whole lot of happy memories dealing with hilly churls, but still, Paimon hopes they're at peace in their last moments. 
So do, does it have to be the chasm that they go to? Surely it's not just the chasm that everyone goes into. That all of the Hilichos die in. Because this, this place would be filled with dead bodies. I think Paimon's right. As depressing as it is, I think she's I think she's pretty much right. I think she's kinda right. <laughs> Paimon said, let me play with your heart a little bit. She How did that flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased Hilly Charles? I've seen this kind of flower before. Hey, now that you mention it, Paimon thinks it looks kind of familiar too. It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. <sighs> Why are they trying to punch me in the gut like this, man? It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more and finally turn to dust. Uh, so the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. That's the flower my sister was wearing in her hair. Why are they trying to punch me in the gut like this, man? <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh. For this flower to get here, it must have been brought from. Is he about to have another? Your Highness. Oh shit! The proposal finally has your blessing. In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission. The revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. Mm. For too long have we dwelt in the abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. Mm -hmm. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. Okay. The order is most <clears throat> fortunate to be graced with your decision. You mean? Ah. Uh, ah, uh, that fucking sucks, man. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? That sucks. Ah, oh, that's a punch in the heart. Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. 
It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And you say she mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? Said it was her missing. So she's trying to revive Conria again. And I'm guessing she's doing that so she can... So she can let all the Hillatrolls, all the all the uh, Conria citizens, like I'll turn into Hillatrolls, die peacefully. Hmm. But what's, but how? How is that even possible in the first place? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hillatrolls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then. They will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. Mm. After all, there can be no nation without a people. Do they have a chance, though? Because... Like, what is even the possibility of reviving an entire nation that was destroyed by Celestia, by the way? They turn that- they probably turn that shit into dust. <laughs> that or- or that or they put it somewhere. <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. I can see why they- I can see why they split apart. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. I could- yeah, I could see why they split apart. Cause- because Lamine trying to do this would only cause Dainsleaf more- causes Dainsleaf more pain. Yeah, I could see why they, uh... Why they went their separate ways. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. Come on, that's still... Ugh, that's still kind of... They're no longer human, but they were once human, weren't they? Like, they still have those... Surely they still have those memories. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. I don't know if I can agree with Dane with this one. Save your strength for something worth saving. Why should I believe you? I don't... I don't like the way Dane Sleep is looking at this. I mean, sure that they're not completely human, but they were still once human. And I'm, I'm like, I'm co like, we've seen, and we've also seen them show like signs of emotional attachment and, and stuff like that. You know how we've seen some Hillichos literally like sit next to each other sometimes staring at sunsets in random places. Like, like we've seen them have some sort of emotion and stuff. Like, it, it doesn't feel, like, I feel like they still have, like, some sort of human quality to them. Even though they're not completely there, but I'm, it just doesn't feel right to just, to just say that they're straight up just not human anymore. I don't know. I understand, yeah, I know why he feels this way, but it just doesn't feel right to completely disregard it. Oh? Hmm. <laughs> but of course. I am merely someone you hired for a task, while she is your sister. It is only natural for you to side with her. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the Abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I choose to believe you? Hmm... Is he saying that? Is he saying that so he doesn't lose Dane Sleeve, or is he saying that because he actually believes him? But that doesn't mean I completely trust you. Hmm. Hmm. Disapprove of disapprove of Dainsleaf or disapprove of Lumine? Uh, I don't know, dude. Fuck. And Dane is a master gaslighter. 
I mean, that is... He could just straight up be, like, trying to manipulate us. So we could, uh, ruin the means plans. He could, he could very well be omitting some things about all of this. If you don't trust him, he won't become a playable character? Is that what everybody who chose, who chose to disagree with our sister chose? <laughs> <laughs> all, all the, all the Dane sleep wanters chose, chose to disagree with their sister or their sibling. The me told us not to trust him last time. It's a hard choice though because it's like you. I mean, I'm sure this choice doesn't even really matter in the long run. It's probably, it probably doesn't really affect anything, but like. But it's like... <sighs> I don't... F mm. You can't... You can't co- I don't know if I can completely trust him. Cause that's our fu That's our sister, man. We know our sister the best. Even though it may have been 500 years since we've seen- since we've last seen her, we know her the- We should know her pretty well. We should know her intentions. That's our twin. <laughs> uh, I'm just not- I don't really trust- I don't really trust Dainsleaf too much. I don't want to put too much trust into Dainsleaf. Let's see. A 1% chance of redemption versus a 99% chance of suffering and death. Nobody has the right to make that choice on another living's on another on another living being's behalf. True. Especially not when these hillochars have already chosen the end that they desire. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. You mad? Yeah. <laughs> you mad good. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. Mm -hmm. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. Okay. That's a hard choice. Ah. I could feel it in the future. We're gonna have to be, we're gonna have to make a decision between either choosing choosing to side with Dainsleaf or or a sister. That's gonna be a hard choice, but hopefully we get we get more evidence to help to, to at least help us to fucking make the right decision. Ah, ah, I could feel it coming. I could feel it coming. We can see the upside down city from here too. Wait, watch out! Oh, we just got flash bags. Holy what? shit. What's going on? Is that light coming from the room in the center? Oh, it's too bright! The mutation is continuing. Has the abyss made its move already? Jane Smith, I see your incessant meddling continues. Oh, hi, Abyss Herald. Once again joined forces with our highness's kin. Regrettably, I was a <laughs> Phoenix Flash. To control your exit from the network, and it sent you here of all places. <laughs> this was a <laughs> catastrophic error. Uh, L. <laughs> L. I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Oh, those are fighting words. Those are fighting words. All interferences must be removed, whatever the price to pay. This time. The curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all! You are the only ones who torment them. 
There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Mm. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainsliff. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it. You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not Yuri killing it? Yeah, they're killing it with the voice lines. Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought. They're killing it with the voice lines. The Abyss Herald and and uh and Dan Sleeve. Fuck. <laughs> Hoyoverse knows we can't use can't use Dane Sleeve right away. One day, Copium. One day. Wait. Oh wait a minute. How am I supposed to do this without fucking Oh no. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh no. Wait, I don't have anything to get rid of this. Shit. Wait a minute. Oh wait, no, this does something. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. False alarm. False alarm. We're fine. We're fine, guys. We're fine. Geo best element. We're fine. Geo best element. We're fine. Terra smash. Oh, the one who thinks Dane will never become playable? I mean, I've thought that too. I mean, I've said before that, uh, that one of my theories is that we will have to defeat Dane Sleep at some point, and that means letting him die. At some point, we'll have to defeat him. Because in the uh, in the trailer for the yeah. game, for like the uh, the story preview, he has told us that we have to defeat him. Terra smash. He has told us to defeat him, so I feel like there will come a time where we do have to fight him. And you know what? I. I have a feeling that we'll end up fighting him in a revived Conria or somewhere where the curse is lifted. So then he can finally be released from, from his suffering. But maybe I'm thinking too far into it. I don't know though. What's the best element to defeat Hydro Abyss Herald while well, in that state? Electro, probably. Cryo? Hmm. Quake. Maybe I have to save the mean from Celestia or something? That's the only planet you would think could make sense? Maybe. Terra Smash! Oh, so it's also this Harold's dead, right? Mm. She, she did. Now, now for like the dozens more Harolds <laughs> that they probably have. There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. All right, let's go. The will to live in the depths of lamentation. <laughs> Lament. Lament! Damn, how am I gonna get up there? What the fuck? Lament! 
Playing only ether? Hey man, it's lore accurate. It's lore accurate, don't worry, we're fine. Okay, how the fuck am I supposed to get up here? Again. Oh no. I have no idea how I'm gonna get up here again. He's the main character, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine! Um... Can I... Oh, here we go. Ooh, pretty. Wait. Can I touch this? Will I die? Thank you for the raid, Atsu! Thank you so much for the raid. We are currently, uh... We are currently doing the Archon quests. The, the very recent Archon quest that came out with the Chasm update. So if you haven't played the Archon quest and are planning to play it and experience it for yourself, please, uh... You might want to mute or leave, but that is what we're doing right now. He scammed you? Damn, that's crazy. That's why he has his name, though. That's... You expected you expected not to be scammed from a scammer? That's crazy. What if I touch this? Oh, it teleports me here. All right. Ooh, cutscene. Look, the amplification device. <gasps> no, the hill of Charles. Wait, Dane Steve's gonna feel this too. Oh, wait, this is what he was feeling. Am I too late? They're in agony. This is no way for them to meet their end. Find a way. To Ether, stop you gotta that do thing. something. Oh. Half dead. No, don't do it. Half dead. Oh no. No, half ten. <laughs> Shit. I thought he would have been turned to ashes in an instant. Halfdan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Bruh. Rip Bozo! Okay, Vamari. No Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on. This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me. Take him out and deactivate the device. Okay. <laughs> Vamari stare. Surely I can defeat an abyss selector with just with just Geo Ether. Surely. Ow. Ow. Okay, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ow. I'm scared. I am running out of food too. Oh no. Imagine accidentally being Electro Traveler. This is why you choose your elements by region. If you're playing an element, if you're playing in a certain region like Leeway, then you use GL Element at all times. Ow. But I'm bumped. Always use Geo Traveler. True. See, we'll be fine. It does enough damage to the shield. The power of revelation. 
It's gonna take a while, but we'll get there. Don't worry. It'll take a minute. What I have ice could come on my item slot. I thought I would need it at some point. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought I would I would maybe need it. <laughs> Revelation. Yeah. Grace be upon you. To dust. Hear ye the word of joy. Peace. It's fun with Electro Traveler until you had to fight right in for the first time. Every Electro fan gangsta until you have to fight the Raiden Shogun. Only at half HP, don't worry, we're getting there. It's lore accurate, all right? It's lore accurate. The truth shall set you free. Terra smash. The power of revelation. Peace and hope find you. Peace and hope find you. Have, have Dan is half dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's dark. <laughs> God damn it. Let me take his place. Are 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 we sh are we sure it won't have an effect? Are we sure? No. As long as the device is active, the cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them quickly. Okay. Yep. Hey, wait for surely this will take us. Uh, this, this surely this won't take us like h half across to that. Surely we won't end up halfway across to that. Okay, good. We're fine. <laughs> oh, nice. Why do I have to fight it with just Geo Ether, man? Uh, uh. All right, lore accuracy sucks. Being more accurate sucks. Terra smash. Animal traveler smashes their shield. True. Wait, no, this is an this is Animal Traveler propaganda. I will not listen. I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. Yeah, don't don't you think? Uh, Half Dan and the others are enduring far greater suffering than I. There's no time to lose. <laughs> if I was truly lore accurate, I'd be using the dull blade. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Watch me get bubbled for like half this fight. I swear to God. I'm getting rid of you first just because of that. Just because I realize the bubbles are that annoying. No! Stop dancing! Oh, I'm solo. Jesus. Space to get out. Press space to get out of the bubble. Seventeen K. Well, you've never seen me seventeen K crit with the rock. I fit thirty K with some buffs. Okay. How come the Abyss Mages can fight when you still have that thing active? I feel like maybe the Abyss Mages either aren't a part of... Weren't from Conria, Or they have some sort of spell that can, uh... That stops them from getting affected by it. Because surely, surely the Abyss Order would find a way to not get affected by it. Because it would be kind of dumb to come up with... It would be kind of dumb to come up with a plan to, like... To, like, create this and then have absolutely no way to not get affected by it by yourself. I'm out of food at this point. Oh no. I am out of food. And I don't have the pot thing. Frick. Alright, I'm on sad hash browns. Here we go. <laughs> Here, I'm just adding monstat hash browns. Screw it. Okay, this last one. Damn, Dane Safe must be like, this dude's taking tell along. I am in so much pain right now. I am in so much pain right now, and he is taking three trillion years to finish this. I might I might as well write my will. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> He's taking his sweet time. Lore accurate. <laughs> what do we do now? The abundance. Oh, I've already done this. No. I've got to restart it all over again. Portals, wow. I have to redo it all. <laughs> I have to watch Dade sleep suffer again. <laughs> oh my. Oh lord. Why? Okay, dude. Alright, if you... If, where's the food? Is there? Is there a campfire anywhere? No? Alright, fuck it then. You know what? Actual food time. Screw it. We're eating food. We're eating food. Might as well. Might as well. I don't have any. Oh yeah, I do. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> Lore accuracy. Really makes you appreciate the Traveler having to do this all by himself, huh? He really do be fighting dozens of Abyss Mages without dying. All by himself. Terra Smash! <laughs> 
Why did that miss? Dana on the ground watching Traveler eat food. <laughs> Feels late, man. I mean, it would be great if we could use two elements at the same time, but you know, small indie company. Small and a small a small developer. That was 23k right there. Guess your character showcases to be like, Whoa, I just hit a 23k crit! Whoa! Actually, which food do y'all think is better? Monset hash browns or the, uh... The sweet madams? Because I feel like... I mean, if you have razor, probably... Probably Monset hash browns would be easier to make. My dom's no question. Mm -hmm. Mushroom skewers? Okay. You got 1k sweet madams? I have enough to make 1k, but I don't want to use that much. I'm too... I, I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to that. Not gonna lie. I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to my materials. Huh? How'd you teleport over here? Oh fuck. Terra Smash! Bye bye. Okay, it's gone dark all around now. Shall we head back to the room in the center? <laughs> they just go back. They're just like, oh, oh, that feels better now. Time to die. <laughs> that feels good now. <laughs> back to suffering. <laughs> Okay, half Dan's probably dead, for sure. Half Dan is um, yeah he he's not looking too good right now. So that's it, right? The device is fully shut down now. The burning sensation has indeed stopped. So we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan. But half Dan has uh died. I'm sorry, Dane Sliff. Let me check. Dane must be really upset. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long. 
This is rough. <sighs> Let's go. Mm, he did. Huh? Uh, oh, wait. Huh? Light. Pause. Pause, champ. Ah, bruh. <sighs> Apologies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Conria didn't fall, did it? Since you're still here. Mm. Correct. Ah. Oh. Uh. So, no need to revive the homeland. Man. That was half damn soul. <laughs> Dane's little smile. <laughs> mm. More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. <coughs> uh oh. Bro, oh, don't tell me. This man's sick now. <laughs> He's dying. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Now now this is where now this is where he goes and, and gets his sick arc and now he's like slowly dying. J just go ahead and do that for me, huh? Okay, thanks. You bet. We'll be super careful. Oh, but dang, does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. Oh, right. Well, actually, Baimon already... He caught the Rona. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good He's rest caught day. COVID. No. Oh, you should take a vacation. Next time, he's just going to show up with the mask on. Vacation? <laughs> the very notion. This word has no business being in my vocabulary. Man. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway. And I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. <laughs> it's their way of saying you won't see him for another year. <laughs> uh, I'll be on the lookout. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Was that a threat? <laughs> Was that a threat? <laughs> Sheesh! Uh. He sure knows how to hold the grudge. Saving that snide remark right until the end. Well, shame that we didn't get to see your sister again. But at least we learned some useful info, huh? As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again. And everything will be back to normal. Right? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Clueless. Forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill churls, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now. But, uh, <clears throat> how are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people to understand. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. Just don't <clears throat> forget about the commission when we're done here. <laughs> we need more money. Normal. <laughs> Okay. May glory go with you. Okay. So we've learned more about Dainsleaf, and we've learned more about the Conria curse. And we kind of got to see our sister. Kind of. But this was a this was pretty fucking depressing. That was a depressing ass quest. Mm. Okay, one one thing, one thing 
I'm going to theorize. Sweet 10 months, Clueless, I didn't miss anything important, did I? <laughs> Thank you, Peace Sentinel, for the 10 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh... One thing I'm definitely going to theorize is that... Um, here. Let me... Uh, give me a, Give me a sec. Let me go back to the trailer. He did he did tell us that we did ha that we do have to defeat him, right? Uh Let me go back here. It feels like I've seen I've watched this trailer on stream like so many times. <laughs> we I just always keep coming back to this trailer. This trailer is like so is too important <laughs> to the story. This trailer is way too important. Hmm. This world, your journey. Now you have set foot in this world. Your journey has reached its end, but one final doorway remains. Step forth if you have understood the meaning of your journey. Defeat me. Command me to step aside. Show me that you are worthier than I to rescue her. So we do have to defeat him at some point, don't we? Hmm. And it's also going to be in Conria too, correct? Maybe. Mm, before? At or after Conria though? I don't know. Hmm. I have a, I have a hard feeling that that when it comes time to defeat Dainsleaf, it's going to be on some sort of Conria territory. And... And uh, that's going to be his, his grave, basically. That's gonna be his grave. Defeat isn't always a physical fight, yeah. Hmm. Probably right, right before a gateway to Celestia? Probably, yeah. We need info about Kaya as well. Hmm. But we need to know when we'll go back to Mondstadt. Hello, Ludi Har passed him when uh, Mohoyo Ding Dong. Hello, Ludi Har passed him. Did you forget that existed? Ludi Har passed him event when. Hmm. He just coughed. Okay, death flags. <laughs> <laughs> that singular cough just told us that he's that he's on he's on his way to death. Whenever a main or a side character starts to cough, they're going to die. They're dying soon. Tepe cough too. <laughs> no. Why did you have to remind me? Ah. <laughs> uh. Ha <laughs> ha! Nah. Fuck. <laughs>